Oh, Rick is going to taste it to see if it's good. Mmm. What do you think? Is it okay? It's very tender. Is it? Yeah. Does it taste okay? Mmm. Do you like it? Juicy and tender. You can probably cut it with a knife. What do you mean you can cut, it, cut with it with a fork? With a fork? You can cut it with a fork? Probably. Let's see. Let's see. Come and look. Okay, with my fork. There, I can cut it with a fork. Cool. It's so tender and juicy. That's I can cut good. it with a fork. That's good. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Perfect. Hello friends, this is Rick and Lisa's Kitchen and Garden. Today I'm going to show you how to air fry your pork tenderloin and Rick is tasting it and he's telling me it tastes really good. Now I'm going to show you step by step how to use your air fryer to make very delicious pork tenderloin. Yum yum. Stay tuned. This is the pork tenderloin. I just cut it into one to one and a half centimeters thick. These are the spices I'm going to need. I need uh, olive oil. I use extra virgin olive oil. I use uh, uh, orange juice. And uh, I use this uh, Montreal steak spice. This is a mixture of salt with all kinds of spice. It's really good. And the recipe I'm going to use is called a Cuban style steak. Here's the recipe of Cuban style marinated steak. You can use this for pork, beef, lamb, anything, even chicken. It's really good. I've been using it for years. So this is my uh, Montreal steak spice. And uh, I added a little bit of holy basil to give it extra flavor. orange juice. This is the mixture of the marinade. Now I put uh, the uh, pork, ch pork chop into the uh, plastic bag. All you need to do is to pour in your marinade into the bag. And uh, Ziploc your bag. Give it a good massage. Make sure the marinade goes into the meat. The reason you use a, a Ziploc bag is it seals very well and you can um, massage it. You can marinate, marinate your meat very well that way. And every few hours, when you remember, you just go to massage it again. Just make sure everything is uh, uh, evenly coated with your marinade. And then you just store it in the fridge for three to six hours. You can leave it there for longer, as long as you want. It can be uh, kept up to a week this way. And uh, you just uh, use it as you go along. So it would be good for camping if you did it this way. Yeah. You mar keep it in the bag, marinate it? Oh, no, I don't know because huh? I don't know whether you can fridge that. This has to be kept in the fridge. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can keep it chilled, I suppose, if you're going to cook right. it the first day. Right. Okay, now I'll put it in the fridge for a few hours before I use it. Now the meat has been marinated for four hours. I'm putting them into the air fryer and I'll set it at the 360 degrees for about 20 minutes. Now 20 minutes is over. The pork tenderloin is cooked. Let's see how it looks. Mmm, looks pretty good. 